Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game. Paper Mario, the Origami King. How did I do that little twirl? That was weird. I did like a little ballet, ballet pirouette. I have no idea how I did that. I still don't know how to get up there. That bothers me. All right. Well, we need to go find the starting lever. Otherwise, we can't. We can't do a damn thing about the power situation. And the only other place I can go to is the wheelhouse. So let's go look up at the wheelhouse. Millhouse? You still enjoying your time here with the Toad? Good, he's pretty crappy company, I'm not gonna lie. Which kind of bothers me because my instinct was to go up. Oh, you stepped on a toad. Wow, I just stepped on something. Damn it, toads, stop scaring Bobby. Aww. Oh, it's just another crew member. Little guy snuck up on me. This one's unconscious. These toads must have had quite a shock. Can I? S is he saved? Move, to move, Bobby. No, I can't do anything with him. All right, where is the starting lever? Well, this isn't creepy at all. Big him. Big him. Big M, help! I'm a bob bomb, not a bon bon. <laughs> Can we get one of those masks? No, they're mine. They're my masks. You can't have them. At least, like. It's not Sniffets. That's all I can say is, thank God it's not Sniffets. I'll go ahead and use my last fire hammer on you guys. Or at least my last hit of it. I think I got one more. I think I bought two. Or I made sure I had two of each. There goes my fire hammer. Okay. I can just take care of you guys with boots. Go boots! You don't have anything left to say about that, Bobby. This is creepy. Crew member priorities. Safety, hospitality, customer satisfaction. Oh my. Hey, we got a superstar. We actually haven't seen one of those in a while. In case of emergency, break glass. Hey, we got the lever. A lever found in the wheelhouse of the Princess Peach. A lever? What do you think it does? If it was locked up like that, it must be pretty important. All I know is, like, there's no zombies, at least. No zombonies, either. That was, like, the last time I was on a ship. Something's keeping this door shut from the other side. Last time I was on a ship, I think it was Resident Evil 7. Step on your face. And descend. <laughs> Excuse me, just passing through again. I really should have gone to the wheelhouse first. That was my instinct. I'm like, no, I, I think I actually, he'll yell at me if I go up there. And then I'm like, nope, wheelhouse was right all along. Alright, let's turn it on. What's this? There's an opening. Yes, it's for the pink lever. Oh, that lever is a perfect fit. Uh, I guess we did it. And now I turn. 
And now I hit it repeatedly. Oh my god, it's so pink. Yes, the power's back. Great job, Big M. I knew you were a take charge kind of guy. <laughs> Get it? Because of the electricity? Oof. Was that funnier when I had amnesia? I hope this means the elevator is running again. Let's head back to the main hall to find out. It's so pink. Why pink? Everywhere. Damn you, Princess Peach. Why is pink your favorite color? Whoa, that jolt. It can't be. We might be in real tr trouble here, Big M. We have to hurry to that VIP stateroom. Let's grab what we came for and then get the heck off this ship. Um, uh, oh, wait. There, that's how I do it. Okay. Also, Mario looked like he was... Sh I gotta look at this again. Hang on. I wanna do this. It looked like it was Mario's frightened animation. No, maybe it's just not the light or something. Or how the, the pixels moved. I don't know. Mario, it's terrible. There was a crisis. There still is a crisis. I've been stuck here the whole time, so I don't really know the details, but crisis. It is a good video game. Made with the crisis engine. Which I think has come to the Nintendo Switch. And good luck to it. Poor Nintendo Switch. Now ah, that was a little, little tiny thing. And is that it? Okay, now the engine room looks nice and tidy. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, Bobby! Don't lag behind! Crisis did come to the Nintendo Switch, didn't it? I think it actually supposed to run. Oh my god, it's a giant sperm. Um, I think it, they did the same black magic they did. They did, uh, for, um, Witcher 3, and it runs actually pretty decently. Black goop? Oh no, we're definitely in trouble. Quick, Big M, we gotta move. Ew, it's so gooey and sticky. Oh my. So obviously it's going to be a giant blooper. Or a giant sperm. One or the other. Although usually a giant sperm doesn't use black goop. It's mostly like this kind of off-white. Okay, the power's back. Quick, into the elevator. Wake up! He's out like the lights. Something must have rattled him good. But I said wake up and then I hit him in the head. What more do you want? I'm still going with my sperm theory. Ew. Maybe it's demon semen? Oh no, it's already here. That's the door to the VIP stateroom. Hurry, get inside. Sorry, blocks are, blocks are very important. That's all the question mark blocks. I got shiny iron boots. What do I feel like I should probably equip? Let's see, iron boots, shiny iron boots. Let's put shiny iron boots on. Let's re equip a fire hammer. There we go. Now we're set. There's so much goop! Can't open it from that side. There's a toad. There's a toad in this goop! How will I find. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hell, this black gunk blasted through the window out of nowhere. I'll never be able to wash this off. I hate the sea. Could you stop that, please? Oh, 
Okay, they didn't really change. Hmm. Okay. How am I supposed to solve this one? Uh, Toads, you do this for me. Plus, you'll do some damage. Oh, really? Okay. Alright, sure. You're smart, Toad. Thank you, you're smarter than me. I'm gonna have to remember that trick. Uh, go shiny boots? Well, shiny boots kind of helped. Damn it, Bobby. All right, what are we gonna do here? Tower attack? My butt! All right, can I actually get all of these in one go? Or actually, I could use my last fire flower. Let's do that. Yay! Got them all. All right, so now we got ease of access back to this area. Yay! I don't know what's on the other side, gooey, of this door. I don't think the map's really going to show us, is it? No, not even close. Alright, we'll deal with that later. There it is, Big M, that yellow box. Okay. I put it in this log box to keep it safe. Oh, what was the code? Come on, brain, think, think! And definitely doesn't want us to have it. Hey, give that back. Do we have an origami blooper? We have to get that box back. That monster is probably on the ship's bow. Let's chase after it. First, any goodies in here? What were you doing in the stateroom, sir? Also, oop. Go back. Um, we've almost got all the holes repaired. Almost all the treasures. I have a feeling like the last things we're going to want is behind this door over here. Something's keeping it shut and I don't know what. Ew. So sticky and gooey. Whee! Ding ding. Oh, there's, there's the hole. There we go. That's the last hole. I wonder where all the toads are, though. Also, Bobby is ready for fighting. Bobby is upset. I mean, there's, they've got to be somewhere just locked up. Like, just a whole stack of them, right? Along with that last treasure. Might as well save. I think this is a good save opportunity.
Yep, it is an origami, uh, paper macho, macho blooper. There it is. There's the awful gooper blooper that roughed me up. Ooh, what a jerk. Let him have it, Big M. Olivia is counting on us. Oh, ooh, okay. Ouch, I need to jump those. All right, good, and that's a heal. Okay, this isn't too bad so far. Ooh, gotta be faster about that. At least I'm gonna get rich doing this. <laughs> Pew 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 pew! Ah, that's gonna slow me down. Lovely. Ouch. I got two of them. Not too bad. Oh, don't do that. That's all your tentacles. Come on up. Yeah, he he is quite perturbed. Interesting. That's the this the uh, Paper Mario Sunshine version of it. Okay, so basically. Wait until he gets dizzy and dodges attacks until then. Ouch. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. I'm over here. You can't get me with your tiny little tentacles. Man, you got a lot of health. You're a big boy. I'm gonna get so much confetti out of you. There we go. Goodbye. And a ton of toads. Who could have predicted that? Big M. That was incredible. I knew you'd wallop that thing. Looks like the logbox survived too. Thank goodness. Now let's plug in the security code and... Ba bomb got a super important Olivia saving item. Ta da da da! Now we'll be able to rescue Olivia. Thank you, Mario. I'm the captain of the Princess Peach. Toot toot! It was dark and scary inside that beast, but at no point did I sob fully and uncontrollably. Any fibs stating otherwise are just that dirty, mutinous fibs. Toot toot! This ship was full of passengers, but we helped them escape in lifeboats to ensure the customer satisfaction. That's great. That means the rest of the crew and passengers are all safe somewhere. Phew. Speaking of, let's head back to Sweet Paper Valley and rescue Olivia. Come on, Big M. Okay, let's help the toads! <laughs> Still missing a collectible. Uh, and since we're this close, why don't you give me, like, two minutes to see if I can find it. Okay, well... We won't be able to get it for the time being, so we'll just move on. We won't be able to get the final collectible here until the purple chapter. So, yeah. Other than that, we're complete. Let's head out. Mario! Toot toot! We need to rescue the passengers of that abandoned ship, but there's too much fog out on the Great Sea. 
If you see that the fog is lifted, will you come and let us know, please? Toot toot. Yeah, so uh, that's how we're going to get that collectible is we're going to go rescue all the passengers and we can't do that. Shall we ship out? Yes. Toot toot. All right, let's return to town. Just straight up. Now it's time to head all the way back. All right, we need to go to the blue pipe. You know, this is a good opportunity to point something out. One of the big criticisms that I personally had with Sticker Star and a little bit with Color Splash is they were a series of not connected levels on the world map. And this is something that started with uh, basically with uh, Super Paper Mario and I didn't really like it. It's one of the reasons I didn't really like Super Paper Mario. But in this game, they've made a real effort and they said that they made a real effort to make a genuinely interconnected world. You can use the pipes for convenience, but basically all the worlds are connected to each other with Toe Town being the hub. So that's really cool. I'm glad that they did that. I really like an RPG world that feels like a world, not just levels that I'm going through in sequential order. Even if I have to go back and forth between them to progress the story, it doesn't make it feel RPG-like. So I'm really glad that they made a difference, or made a real effort to um, make a huge world, and it does make a difference. Alright, time to go rescue Olivia. You know what, let's have a seat first. Bobby doesn't need to talk. Bobby's just content to enjoy your company. Alright, so what was in that box? Why do we have this important smaller box that we don't even know what it is? Big M. Thanks for believing me, and for taking me to the Great Sea. Sorry I was so hush-hush about what happened on the boat, and about that item in the lockbox. I'll tell you everything. A while back, I was traveling aboard the Princess Peach with my buds. My bum- my ba -bum rads, my friends. We'd all pitched in to share the VIP stateroom. Sure, some of us had to sleep on the floor, but... The open sea, the salty breeze... It was the best trip ever. But then that monstrous blooper attacked the ship. We did our best to defend the peach, but it was too strong, and that's when it happened. My fuse got knocked loose. It flew right off the boat, and so did I. Next thing I know, I'm in the Great Sea. Not sure what happened next, but I washed up in Toad Town. No fuse, no memories, no clue. So off I went, lost and alone, on a journey to try and remember, well, anything. That's where you and Olivia came in, and then those fireworks that we saw together at Shogun Studios. They made me remember the fight with the blooper, my fuse, my buds. Boom! Everything came back to me. I'm so glad my memories are back. I remember everything now. Including a way to rescue Olivia. See, I had a lot of buds. But I lost, I lost my bestest best bud a long time ago. He got scrapped in an accident. His name was also Babom. Hmm. <laughs> Olivia would have had such a hard time telling us apart. I always kept a fuse with me to remember him by until the amnesia hit. So it just sat where I left it, in that VIP stateroom on the ship. 
Big M. If I can save a friend like this, it means I've finally become the sort of babam I always wanted to be. This is what every babam hopes for. A chance to change something for the better, to make an impact. Big M, I... I had so much fun traveling with you and Olivia. It's been a blast. Sorry, I'm kind of nervous. Thanks for the fuse, best bud. And thank you, Mario, for everything. Did you save me, Mario? Thank you so much. Getting flattened hurt a lot, but now I'm back to my folded and fancy free self. Wow, the whole rock is just gone. Blasted into confetti. How did that happen anyway? Did you get some kind of dynamite hammer or something? Just kapow or what? Wait, huh? Where's Bobby? Is he around? Don't tell me he missed all of this. Um, Mario? Wait, did he? There was a loud bang and now the rock is gone. No, no! It can't be! Rest in peace, Bobby. Your sacrifice. We'll make sure it wasn't in vain. But I think that we're going to have to call it an episode here, guys. Thank you for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, give me your likes. Leave me comments. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.